best way to describe it is is um, color equals a type of emotion. It evokes emotion. So when you put red, for example, on canvas, um, it evokes rage or love or anything that resembles red in real life, you know, like roses, um, whatever that's, yeah. So blues are skies, skies, water, so it's more calming, cold, so you feel that, you know what I mean? It colors evoke emotion. So that's one way instantly you're going to look at a painting and feel a certain value, feel a certain way when you look at it, you know, calm or rageful or like awkward, you're going to feel intrigued, you know, um, that's one way. Another way is the way you brush your, put your strokes on the canvas, when you hit it hard, like if you do it fast, that evokes an emotion of like striking. So it's like, it hits you hard, like, oh damn, you know, like you see that stroke. And if you like drip it on, it's like, what's going on there? So um, it's like, it gives a different type of like feeling when you see drips. You know what I mean? It's like, why, it, it starts to raise questions, you know? So, um, you can just go on around it. Um, so, and then there's other ways to apply paint, like tilting, right? And um, when you tilt the paint, it's almost like you're not actually putting the strokes where you want it. You're kind of like letting nature do its job, you know? You add a little bit of, um, <clears throat> a little bit of fluid, um, some paint fluid to let everything flow better, and then it just comes out the way it is. So it's it's kind of it's kind of a metaphor for nature. You know what I mean when you look at the painting. So all of these different types of ways you put art the colors on this, on the um, on the uh, canvas, and then all the colors you put you dot all together makes a story. Its own, story. its own story so that's why and everybody will interpret it differently because what I see in beauty is not what you'll see in beauty or vice versa you know what I mean so that's that's kind of what that's kind of what what um, I learned from um, doing abstracts um, does right that's the foundation of how it how it works because I, I, I kind of like abstracts like it does something to me like when I look at abstracts as I got older, I started to like it. Before I was more into realism, that's like what I grew up doing. I was just always trying to make something look as real as possible. Like I was really good at it. So I was always improving there. But then, I was thinking like, I was getting intrigued in uh, abstracts and it kind of like took it back to the basics. Of all the basic colors that form realism, now you're looking, going back to the ABC steps of art. So that, and then, and then also what it does, it kind of like, it doesn't give the whole story away sometimes when you do abstract. It's like, what is the story, what is the artist trying to portray in the art? Why is he doing it this? And why is he doing it with this color? You know what I mean? And like this. So those are the questions and, and it becomes very versatile in like all the explanations of the viewer. Like everyone has, has they're, they're so like puzzled, you know? It doesn't give away the, the story. So that's what makes it more intriguing when you look at it. And then they probably come, what does this mean? Right. And you're like, you tell me. <laughs> and then I'll just be like, you know what? I see that in there too. You're right. I think it does mean that. Yeah. Because sometimes I don't do art, like abstracts just to um, kind of just. For meaning. For meaning. I just do it because I feel like I want to paint. Mm -hmm. So because I want to paint, I'm just like, or I'll get, I'll get inspired from an art, art piece I see online, on Instagram or whatever. And I'll be like, yo, I'll, I'll snap it. And anytime I feel like a paint, I'll go into those, all those snaps and be like, what do I want to paint? Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this. Okay. Let me use this kind of rhythm and just do my own thing. You know what I mean? But use this as my base and see where it goes. Yeah. And I'll be like, even I'll even let it dry two weeks later, look at it. Hmm. And add something more to it or take off something. Okay. I'll even go scratch at it. Yeah. I go, I'll be like, I don't like that. Scratch at it. Wow. Yeah, and then it becomes this type of um, like, you know, um, all these little scratch marks and it gives it more texture and I'll go paint on top of it again. So, and these, 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 see, these little tricks that I do, I learn off of the greats, the people who have made it in the industry from, from the 1600s 
to present day. I look and study them. And then I look at their traits, their personal lives, I look at their biographies, I look at their techniques, whatever drives them. I look at what their whole lifestyle to compare, because I'm an artist too, this is my life, I know it. So I'm always trying to figure out who I am. And the more I find out who I am, the better I am able to express myself and be in my, live in my true self, you know what I mean? Because I, I, I'm, I'm all about believing in myself and living in my true self. That's why I use my real name, Carlson Henry, and I don't use my nicknames anymore, you know?